السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله الذي هدانا إلى هذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الحمد لله الذي بلغنا رمضان الحمد لله الذي بلغنا العشر الأواخر من رمضان May dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. It's indeed the blessing and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He has given us another opportunity to witness Ramadan. And it is an absolutely an honor and blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have chosen us to live the last 10 days and 10 nights of this blessed month of Ramadan. So many of our own brothers and sisters have passed away and they didn't get a chance to witness Ramadan this year. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on them and to grant them Jannat al firdaus al-A'la and to forgive their sins. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. It is the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam during these 10 nights and 10 days of Ramadan to work your hardest and to do your best and to stay up as much as you can in the night reciting Quran, praying, making dua and the best of dua that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us to say in these last 10 nights of Ramadan Allahumma innaka afuun kareemun tuhibbu al-afu fa'afu anni اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا كريم. We ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to choose us from the ones that He will save from the hellfire. In these last ten days and ten nights of Ramadan, they are أيام العتق من النار. The nights that Allah سبحانه وتعالى will choose whom He will save from the hellfire. We ask Him Allah سبحانه وتعالى to be merciful with us all and to make us and our families and our loved ones and the entire Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam min utaqa'ihi min nar jahannam we ask him to save us all from the hellfire Ameen, Ameen Another sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the, in the last 10 nights and 10 days of Ramadan that he used to be the most generous Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was very generous helping the poor and the needy. But he was the most generous in these last 10 days and nights. كَانَ كَالْرِيحُ mursala, Just like blown wind. And you know when the wind blows it doesn't differentiate. It blows on everything. It encompasses everything. So his generosity Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this last 10 days of Ramadan was tremendous. And we are going to be given an opportunity inshallah. Tomorrow night we are holding a virtual fundraising for our masjid in Saxe, Texas, a suburb of Dallas, Texas. And we are having a very special guest, a dear brother of ours, a native Texan, a person whom I met personally and I saw him when I was a member of the Islamic Association of North Texas Board of Directors. I saw him giving da'wah programs and administering shahada to non-Muslims. Very effective da'i, very well known, not just in America and Canada, in Europe, in the Middle East, in Asia, in Africa, throughout Latin America. Our dear brother Sheikh Yusuf Estes will be with us tomorrow in this virtual fundraising. It will be live on Facebook and YouTube Saturday, May the 16th at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. I encourage all of you, all of your families and loved ones, and pass this video to your loved ones. Tell them to tune in tomorrow night and be with our brother Yusuf Estes. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to put barakah in this event. 
two of my dearest friends and closest friends, the ones who traveled all over the country working for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Brother Munzer Talib, Abu Ayman, and Brother Abdul Rauf Al Khawalde, Abu Ammar, were also with us in this event. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless their work and to make this successful event. But it would not be a successful event if you don't tune in and participate. Tune in tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, on YouTube channel and also on Facebook. And be part of this incredible opportunity. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من بنى لله مسجدا كمفحص قطاه بنى الله له بيتا في الجنة أو كمفحص قطاه رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم tells us if you build the house of Allah سبحانه وتعالى even if it's a small size if you contribute to a small size of the masjid the size of a, of a bird's nest Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will build the house for you in Jannah. And the ulama and the scholars tell us if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala build the house for you in Jannah, that's a guarantee that you will enter your house insha'Allah ta'ala.